Well, good rainy morning to you all. Nomadic Fanatic here, Eric. Hope you guys are staying dry. I've got an umbrella over the camera to keep that safe and I'll still get wet. I am packing up base camp. In fact, well, let's back up here and show you. I think my trench is working as there is no Nomadic Fanatic Lake over there, so that's good news. Now I'm also packing it up behind the scenes, getting the house secure packing the RV up because it's time to hit the road in the RV and go north here but uh, I just can't seem to get too much done outside when it's raining like crazy so for today I do have an indoor idea to test out I think it's time to test out the RV toilet paper investigation series but do it right because there's a lot of videos out there that I don't think they do it right so let's go inside dry off make some coffee and have a fun day talking about toilet paper all right all right before we get into the toilet paper saga i want to thank expressvpn for sponsoring this video today i personally have been enjoying expressvpn for over three years now to safely secure both my laptop and my phone ExpressVPN reroutes your network data through secure servers so it stays encrypted and safe. And you can choose from over 90 different countries to reroute your connection. There's a simple and easy to use app available right on your phone. Just open the app, pick a location, tap connect, and in a few seconds, connected and safe online. But online security is only one of the awesome benefits they provide. It's baseball season and I wanna watch my Seattle team here on the road. And even with my paid baseball app, sometimes, I get those games blacked out on the road. So just switch my location through ExpressVPN by selecting a new server in a different part of the country and wait for it. Connected, play ball. I wouldn't even be able to watch these games without ExpressVPN. And Netflix too, just reroute your connection through Canada and I unlock shows like Modern Family and laugh my butt off. ExpressVPN simply allows you to enjoy all the benefits that you're already paying for. It's a no-brainer. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash nomadic or click the link in the video description below this video. And thanks again ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. Let's talk about that toilet paper. As I said, we're talking about toilet paper today. I know that's crazy. It's a rainy day. Actually, I think this video is going to resonate with a lot of my viewers. Why would we be wanting to talk about something like this? Well, RVs, toilet systems are very sensitive. I'm sure you've heard stories or maybe you're worried about your tank getting clogged and not being able to drain it when you pull the valve or something. And that's why we have toilet paper that is advertised as rapid dissolving toilet paper. Um, but I've been doing this for nearly 11 years. It'll be 11 years this, this fall, this, this winter, a full-time RVing. And I have never once in my life had a clogging problem in my RV toilet ever once. I'm going to let you know at the end of the video exactly what I use, but we are going to do a really thorough accurate demonstration to see what the best toilet paper is. And I'm sure you've seen lots of videos on YouTube where they take a couple squares of the toilet paper, they put it in a container, and then they violently shake it up and down and then they investigate how well it broke down. Now, first of all, show me what scenario an RV's holding tank violently rocks back and forth up and down. Never seen that happen in an RV. I'm not, I'm not sure what we're trying to simulate there. An, an earthquake? Um, let's be honest, most people live in an RV when their stuff drops from the toilet, it goes into a holding tank and it just kind of sits there. If you're in an RV park, some of us like me, I drive a lot, so there is gonna be some motion. But we're gonna actually, I'm going to try to actually imitate what it's actually like in an RV tank after it leaves the toilet and goes down. And we're gonna do a really good test here. But I also want to let you know, a little spoiler, because I think I know how this is going to turn out. In the end, it's all about personal preference and comfort, okay? In the end, as long as all of them work. If they actually don't work in a septic system, then we're going to have a problem. But let's talk about the four examples. And these are the four major, I've, I've been asking RVers for many, many years. These are the four most common types of toilet paper that RVers use. I guess that answers your question. Do you have to use RV specific toilet paper? Well, don't do what I do. Don't listen to me or anything, but. So let's roll through them. This is the most popular toilet paper used by RVers, Scott brand. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is tell you the price per sheet of all four of these toilet papers. That's because I did a lot of work behind the scenes 
uh, working on square footage and then the actual roll costs and how many sheets are on a roll and all that. So that's how I'm providing those cost numbers that I did. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake. I triple checked my numbers. So hopefully I am right on these numbers. The Scott brand toilet paper comes out to 1.1 cents. 1.1 cents per sheet. The Angel Soft, spoiler, this is what I've been using for nearly 11 years. Angel Soft also sold at Walmart. Everything here is sold at Walmart, by the way. Angel Soft comes out to 0.7 cents per sheet, so a little less than the Scott. Then we've got the Scott Rapid Dissolving made for RVs and boats. This is a camping world. Pretty much every camping supplier you're going to find out there. This is a lot uh, more common than the Camco version, so that's why I'm doing the Scott one. Again, I've, I've asked people, but uh, this comes in at a whopping 3.8 cents per sheet of toilet paper, and much, much more expensive than the first two. And then we come to the very generic bathroom tissue at Walmart. It doesn't even have a brand, but we've all seen this in Walmart and the aisle. Guess what this runs? 0 0.03 cents per sheet of toilet paper. Again, those costs, 1.1 cents per sheet, 0.7 cents per sheet, 3.8 cents per sheet, and 0.03 cents per sheet of toilet paper. But we all know, again, cost is not everything. It's all about comfort for your rear end, so, uh, I'm not biased here, but I have been using the Angel Soft without issue for quite some time, and most of the videos that you are going to see on YouTube that talk about this kind of stuff are strictly talking about the dissolving, because that's what matters. How quickly does it dissolve? Well, first of all, nobody drops their stuff from the toilet into there and then instantly dissolves it, so I don't know why we fill a container full of water, uh, put some toilet paper in there, and then violently shake it up, open it up, and investigate, because that's not real life. It's not. That's not how things work. Now, to understand how an RV system really works, yes, we have a holding tank. Let's go into the bathroom. So in my Class A RV, my toilet is here above the floor level, below the floor level once I flush it with my foot. Everything from here drops straight down into a black holding tank about a foot below the floor. The waste sits there in the tank, and ironically, it does not shake violently up and down after I flush the toilet. It simply sits there in the tank. Now here's the thing, and I think I talked about this seven or eight years ago here on the channel also, but I'm mainly talking to the guys out there. Your RV holding tank is going to work just fine as long as you keep it normal, as long as you do exactly what you're supposed to do. Number ones and number twos. Oftentimes, guys, and, and, and me personally, when I started this out, and many people I've talked to, they think that it's going to save their tank if while they're camping, they, they do their number ones out behind a tree, or just outside, or, or, or only go to rest areas to do the number ones and do the number two. <laughs> the problem here is that you're not keeping that tank normal, okay? If you add too much solids, solids from your body, and solids from toilet paper without any number ones, liquids, you are going to have a clogging problem. And that is the number one reason for any kind of toilet holding tank issue in an RV is that you don't have the proper ratio. That's why that tank works perfectly for me for, for 11 years now, because I keep the proper ratios. I do all of my number ones, my number twos, and my toilet paper usage just as normal. I don't do anything tricky or weird or try to save water or anything like that. And at the end of the video, we are gonna do a specific test on that so I can physically show you what happens if you don't have the right ratio. But first, let's do a little test and actually see how all of these toilet papers hold up. In this control demonstration, I'm gonna do it my way. I've got four containers. I'm going to put six sheets of each toilet paper inside one of these bins, and then I'm going to add a cup of water and only a cup of water. All right, let's just look at these rolls real quick. We've got the Scott, the Angel Soft, the Scott Rapid Dissolving, and the generic bathroom tissue. Once we uh, add the water and let these sit, we are going to talk about each individual toilet paper. Look how much different that looks compared to this, okay? So anyway, let me put six squares of every piece of toilet paper into these bins. But hang on, I gotta do this in the right order first. We gotta add the water because this is simulating the holding tank below. So we're assuming that the holding tank already has the right ratio of solids to wets before we add our six sheets of toilet paper. 
a little spill there. All right, and the last bit of water there. Let me just scoot these a little closer so you can see everything in the shot. And we are going to start with the Scots. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Okay. Putting it in there. Let's go to the Angel Soft here. I'm going to have to get past the starter here, so let me break that off right there. And there we go. It's two ply. One, two, three, four, five, six, right there. Feels like a lot more toilet paper. Hmm, interesting. Then we'll go to the Scott's Rapid Dissolving here. If I can find the spot to start it. So this is another thing to consider. If you really like your toilet paper, how difficult is it to get started? And this one has no end. You have to just tear it in a place and start. That is very interesting. Okay, let's break that off. One... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, put that guy in there. And then we'll go to the generic one, which was a lot easier to open than the more expensive Scots. One, two, th three, four, five, six. And put that guy in there. I'm gonna put the tops on all these and then we're gonna have a little chat. Because, again, at this point, the toilet paper is just sitting inside the toilet. The next step is going to be to flush the toilet, which is essentially just dropping the toilet and toilet paper and the water and the solids and everything down to the bottom bin. So to do that, I'm going to go like this. That's it. That simulates dropping everything down into the bottom holding tank. Now we're going to let those sit there for a little bit. Because, like I said, I do want to talk about comfort on here. And as I mentioned, Scott's is the most popular RV toilet. It is, it is septic safe. It says so around the package. However, I mean, these three on the far right are all very, very soft, comfortable toilet papers. When I get to the Scott, I don't even know what you call it. You can see through it, and it is... Okay, well, I'll also tell you I have used this <laughs> on my Botox. I've used it before, and it's not comfortable. It just really isn't. But some people are just so afraid of the tank that it, since it says septic safe, it's got to be okay. And we certainly can't afford this at 3.7 cents per sheet. So that's why this is so popular. Having used all four of these toilet papers in the past, I can honestly tell you that comfort goes a long ways. And for me, Angel Soft comes in number one. The cheap, cheap Walmart no-name comes in number two. The Scott's Rapid Dissolving number three. And the regular Scott's comes in dead last as far as comfort there. I'm going to let the toilet paper sit there at the bottom of the, the holding tank there for about an hour. And then we're going to come back and do something different. All right, it's been an hour. Our toilet paper has been sitting in the bottom of the holding tank here with the right ratio. I am going to simulate my style of life, which is driving down the road. Okay? I drive and then I stop at a stop sign. Okay, we just drive around. Notice I'm not violently shaking up and down and breaking it up. I'm keeping it normal. There is some vibrations and stuff. So I will do this with all four bends. Just kind of simulating driving, okay? Now, for the record, I don't put a whole lot of value in the next step, but this is where all of the videos I've seen pretty much end. This is the tell-all. We're going to take the lids off this, and we are going to check to see how well they have dissolved. We're, on this channel, we are not going to end there, but let's take a look anyway. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Do you remember which one was the rapid dissolving toilet paper? It was this one, the Scott's Rapid Dissolving Toilet Paper. Huh. Guys, how, how well did that rapidly dissolve? The entire clump is still one piece in there. Interesting. Let's go to the Angel Soft here. Oh, weird. The Angel Soft is completely falling apart, basically dissolving as I even move it. Much, much better than the advertised dissolving toilet paper here. Hmm. How about Scott's regular? 
you know what, I want to mention something. It looks like there's a lot less toilet paper in the Scots versus the Angel Soft. And remember, I said at the beginning how thin it was, and it looked like it wasn't even doing anything. It looks like there's nothing in this bin. Now, it also does look like it is kind of dissolving a, a little better than the, their actual version that says it's supposed to dissolve. Right? So, but again, that's that comfort thing. Let's go over to the really cheap toilet paper here. It looks like it really hasn't dissolved much at all. It is still completely solid toilet paper. Now there's a little bit of dissolving in there. Okay, that's great. All right, that concludes our test. Angel Soft dissolved the most. That means it's the best for RVs. No, no that's, 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 that's not accurate. We're going to do another test here in just a second, but you have to also remember that at this point, our black tank needs to be drained. And in order to do that, we have to get all this out of there. Luckily for us, we have a good ratio. We have enough solids and liquids in here that pretty much no matter what you do, it is going to drain just fine. In fact, I'll bet all four of these are going to drain just fine because there is the right ratio of solids to liquids. Okay, let's see how easily we can empty our black tank simulators here. I'm going to start with the Scots. Hmm. Okay, and we even had some left in there. Let's go to the Angel Soft here. Ooh, uh-oh. Hmm, nothing left in there though, but you saw how it was kind of lumpy there. Because you have to remember when you pull the valve of your RV, it doesn't just all come out at once. This is uh, Scott Rapid Dissolving. Um, wow. That is a major problem. That might not seem like that's a big deal, but what I just showed you there, that is exactly what you don't want. And this is the RV-specific expensive toilet paper that won't even empty out of the jug. That is what causes problems in your RV's tank. Let's go to the very cheap Walmart generic brand. Well, it did all come out. So on that test, I am very worried about the rapid dissolving Scots. I'm gonna tip it upside down. Finally got it out. Hmm. Interesting. We are going to do the same test, but I'm only going to put a quarter cup of water in all these containers and six pieces of toilet paper. I'll get back to you. All right, we got four new bins with only a quarter cup of water in each of them. We're assuming somebody in the RV did not use the right ratio of solids to liquids. And we're going to do the same demonstration with six sheets of each of these and see what happens. Let's see how we did with all of these. With less liquids in here, you can see that none of the toilet papers were able to dissolve at all. Let's see how they empty into our black tank below. The Scots. Um, there you go. We have a clog. Okay, let's do Angel Soft. <laughs> Here's that theme I was telling you about. We got a clog. Here's the Scots Rapid Dissolving. I think I know how this is going to work. And the cheap. Also stayed in there. So, what this tells you confirms what I've been saying all along. That the wrong mixture of solids and liquids is going to give you problems no matter what when you pull that valve. There's a lot of different examples. It's not just the men who go number one outside and don't use their toilet for the number ones, but it's also some people like to save water when they're going to go number two. They don't put any extra water in the bowl before they sit down and do their business. That can also cause problems. The main problem you're ever going to have in your RV is stuff like this where there's just not enough liquid to be able to help that push out of the bottom of your tank. Once you have too much solids and too much toilet paper, you are going to have a problem. Let, let's look at this one more time though. Clearly out of the four that we just demonstrated, the Scots regular there has the smallest footprint of toilet paper compared to the rest of them. They all pretty much absorbed all of that quarter cup of water that we put in there. But the Scots takes up the, le the least amount of room there, meaning there's less of a chance of a problem. Now, I'm not saying you got to call a plumber or go to an RV specialist if, if you pull your valve and nothing comes out uh, at the travel station or the RV park. You simply just 
fill your toilet black tank back up. You put your foot on the pedal, fill the tank back up with water and try to drain it again. Add that water, have 90% water to what the toilet paper that didn't come out and then you shouldn't have. There's also these wands that you can put down and connect to a hose. You bring the hose in from inside your RV, go to the bathroom, the wand goes all the way down to the black tank from the toilet and then it spins around when you turn the water on and helps clear some of the debris that's down there also. But as you saw in this particular test that none of our toilet paper stood up and were able to get drained from our black tank when there wasn't enough liquid. So no matter what toilet paper you choose to use in your RV, as long as there is enough liquid with your solids, you are never going to have a problem emptying your black tanks. So after all that, I guess I could just say, use whatever toilet paper you're comfortable with as long as you have enough liquid in your black tank to be able to pull the valve and empty that properly. My personal preference, uh, 11 years on the road full time, is definitely going to be the Angel Soft because you don't have to switch between toilet papers on the road. I mean, I can always find a Walmart. It's pretty much always in stock, except for last year for about four weeks during the pandemic rise where we freaked out about toilet paper. But And that's the other thing is I'm going to have a lot of different kinds of toilet paper. I may just donate it. Actually, I'll just donate it to the local animal shelter here and they can have supplies to, to clean up the shelter there because I like my Angel Soft. And if I have left something out in this video or if you have like a number five or number six toilet paper that you actually would like me to add to this list in a future video, or something that you think is even better than Angel Soft or one of these others, definitely tell me in the, in the comments below what you use and what works. Because I certainly don't know everything. I've made lots of mistakes as I continue to do trial and error on the road, but I do feel like toilet paper is one thing I definitely have figured out. And thank goodness I've never had a problem. I know lots of people have had problems. Just wanted to share that real quick with you. I got to start packing up. The rain's letting up, so I may be able to get a couple trips from base camp into the RV and start packing her up to leave. Thanks for joining me, guys. Jackson, I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.